Well, hello, my berries. It's me, Dark Berry 32, and it's a new week. It is Monday, and my Monday is over with. Let me just tell y'all. Okay, so first, let me get all the intro out. Hi, I am Dark Berry 32, and I do Outfit of the Days every week. <laughs> and this is the start of my Monday. You're going to see. Uh, my outfits from Monday through Saturday this week because my daughter and I were going to the Nutcracker Market. Um, I reside here in the Houston, Texas area where they have this Nutcracker Market every year and we go every year and we have an outfit already planned so you'll see that on Saturday. But not only do I do uh, Outfit of the Days, I also do vlogs, I do cooking videos, I do cleaning videos, I do decor videos, I do thrifting and hauling. All of those things. So if that is in your wheelhouse and that's something you like, then go ahead and smash that button. Smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below. All those things. I have been doing this type of stuff on, oh my God, on YouTube for years. I don't even, I got to go back and see when I first started because I've been on YouTube for a while. So, yes, yes, yes. This is what I do here on YouTube, so if this is something that you like and you might see some other stuff you like, go on back and look at a lot of my videos. My husband and I, we are believers of Christ. We love the Lord. We have four kids. Um, I'm an Air Force veteran. Um, we just moved into this house um, January of 2021. Yeah, 2021. No, 2020. What, what year is this? 2023. So, yeah, we moved in here in January of 2021. Right, y'all? I think that's right. <laughs> it goes so fast because this January will be two years. So, we moved in here January of 2022. That's what I said. 2022 is when we moved in here. January of 2022. So, we moved into um, KB Home 2596 is the model. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. KB Home 2596. And so, we moved into this house. And so I did a lot of, um, uh, I followed all of the building of this home. I showed you guys uh, the home when it was empty after we closed on it. I showed y'all how I decorated each room. So if that's something that you would like to see, our journey with this whole home building thing, please, please go and see it. Um, we also like to travel a lot. We do a lot of cruising, which we have um, some, um, lots of videos like that on on this channel and then we also have another channel that I don't really post that much but it's called Journey with the Joneses if you're interested in cruising I suggest you go over there and journey with the Joneses and so yeah so let me just go ahead and tell y'all this is a Timu dress I think y'all probably already have seen um, that Timu video that I posted with this dress in it and so I decided to wear it today with some short boots because I was gonna wear let me show y'all the shoes I was gonna wear today I was going to wear these shoes right here. I was going to wear these shoes with this, which would have been really, really cute, right? It would have been cute. But y'all, they keep it so cold in the office that I was just like, I don't know if I want my toes out because it's going to be cold in there. And we moved to a new floor and they just can't get it together. Well, they, they've gotten it together, but I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to keep my feet nice and toasty today. So I wore some short boots with some black socks poking out the top of it. So sort of like a real, um, I don't know, boho type of look or whatever. And so, yeah, so the dress is from Timu, and that is what I'm donning today. And yes, um, Sasha Monique talked. She was telling me that I need to kind of downsize on my clothes. And I told her, like, sometimes, you know, I battled with my weight. So that's another thing. If y'all want to go back and watch some videos, you'll see. Girl was thick back in the day. So I... Um, I still sometimes battle with my inner fat girl and so I still want to order larger sizes because I'm too afraid that when it comes it won't fit I don't know what that is but um, I could have tried to put like a belt with this that would have been really cute but I actually like the flowiness of it I like how big this particular style of dress is now I don't know if it's not flattering on me because it's so big, but I actually like it. I mean, I think it all kind of goes together. So that's why I didn't even do the belt. I should have, but I do have that option for next time. But yeah. So yeah, this is what I am donning today. 
and my makeup this is my makeup um it is kind of late it's 7 43 i had to stop after work um and stuff so that's why i'm just now getting home and then the face is kind of glowy or whatever with stuff and then i got on these earrings here that i got from um tj maxx it was a set and then I have on my little necklace and then this is the jewelry right you, my watch and everything and so I um, did the co-wash on my hair y'all oh that co-wash is so good it's by the uh, brand Du D-O-U-X and um, so I did the co-wash and then I did, used the uh, curling gel um, in my hair and um, it was really tightly curled yesterday and I just slept on it and then this morning I picked it out from the root to give it a little bit of more volume and stuff like that and kind of zhuzh it up and everything but I really love it I love the curls that that stuff gives my hair so yeah I just kind of puff it out or whatever and I kind of play in it all day and all that kind of stuff but yeah this is it this is my outfit of the day so let's move on to Tuesday bye bye y'all Hey y'all. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You see my shoes on my back. It's one of those days, y'all. Sometimes it get like that. I ended up with my little house slipper things on. And mm -mm. so what happens is at work, I've changed into my sneakers to do my walk i walk for an hour for lunch instead of sitting at my desk and eating or going some i like i like to walk and get away and watch youtube videos while i'm walking like that's my zen time and i didn't put my my, my shoes back on before it was time to go home so i always keep these in my bag these right here hope you guys can see that i keep these in my bag and so i was like bump that i'm not gonna put these heels back on and buckle them up and all that just to walk down to my car and mm -mm. So these are the shoes that's supposed to go with this dress. <laughs> and I, I knew y'all were going to be like, girl. But um, dress, had it for a long time. It was thrifted. It's a Chico's dress. It's by way of Chico's. But um, I think it's quite flattering. It's kind of like a faux type of a wrap dress without the strings or whatever. Um, kind of. Well, no, it's not. I was going to say it feels like it's sort of asymmetrical, but it's not. So yeah, this is it. This is just, you know, regular dress and heels. That's what your girl wore today. And then um, as far as the uh, makeup, this is my makeup, you know, gloss is gone, which is, uh, I wish they could make a gloss that stays on. I guess that won't happen. But, um, and then, you know, here are the earrings, same ones I wore yesterday. The hair is the same, all the things, stuff like that. Nothing really happening today is tuesday thank god and it's done it's over with and tomorrow is wednesday i get to work from home tomorrow and i kind of thank god for that too i really do love working from home but then there's times when i'm like ooh, maybe i should just go into the office because there's lots i mean not like i don't work when i'm here it's just that it's a different vibe but then you get bothered a lot when you're in the office and i think when i'm at home i can actually concentrate like you know unless they ping me and like hey karen i need this but Y'all have so much going on at work. Like, I don't, I know it's, you know, coming to the end of the year. Oh, but I have lots, lots. And right when I think I'm on top of it, then here comes something else. And it's just like, and then people are like, oh, you, you didn't do this and you forgot. I'm like, when you got 30 some people that's emailing you about certain things, it's going to get lost. It will probably get lost and I'm trying my best to keep up with things by red flagging them, writing things down constantly so that I won't forget and go back and it's just a whole lot. I mean, I have a lot of um, events that I'm planning um, for two different groups. They don't, I don't know. They don't get it. It has to be nice to be able to know to, for them to just be able to just throw it into a lap and say, hey, here, you catch it and you fix it and you do it and you get this together and then they're going to put their name on it. Like, <laughs> they'll thank me for it. They'll thank me. They'll say, oh, thank you, Karen, for it. But it's a lot. 
so much. And then keeping up with the attendance and the RSVPs of, of it all, honey. We got we got it all, honey. And I'm doing it all. So anyway, and then, you know, listening to my daughter. She's going through it a little bit from, you know, at work, you know, just. But I'm glad she's got coworkers there that tells her, like, mm, this is how those type of things go. She's like that with everybody, like the principals and the stuff. They like she's like that with everybody, so she gives everybody a hard time. And then even Earl, you know, he he goes through his things at work. And then Jordan, he's been telling me some things. So it's like all four of us, you know. I told her I said we just the working class, honey, just working folk that's got to support all the people that's you know up here and. That's what we do. That's what we do. And I'm sure a lot of you can identify. And if you can't, then God bless you. <laughs> God bless you if you can't identify. Because it's a blessing to be able to have a job like that. So that we're able to afford a certain lifestyle. Don't get me wrong. We're very... Um, I'm, I'm satisfied. I, I'm... I, I'm very happy and, you know, lots of gratification, you know, behind it all that I can actually do the things that I do and go the places that I go and buy the thing. Even the thrift store stuff, you know, thrift store is not, I mean, it's cheaper than what other people are, but you still got to shell out some cash, you know, um, to get those things. And um, so, yeah, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for it all, but sometimes it can be a challenge. So, yeah. So I have... Um, I am going to take Friday off where I have nothing to do and I pray that it stays that way that I don't have to take care of anyone because it seems like when I do decide it just never fails if I decide I want to take a day off something happens somebody needs me I'm volunteering for something I can't say no to stuff but baby trust me when I tell you I am learning to say no I am learning how to say no and to also realize if I say no, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. It just means that I have to take care of me sometimes too. So because it, it becomes it becomes so overwhelming. It comes it becomes overwhelming here, here, all in my body. Like I can feel all of the frustration and the tension. So I try not to live that way. No one needs to live stressed. And so I thank God for the co-workers that I have in place that are going to take my place while I'm not there on Friday. I mean, they were so gracious and saying, of course, I will take your spot, you know, while you're gone for just a day. I mean, and it's just to have them in place in case something comes up. But normally I try not to leave my teams, you know, high and dry with not, you know, with stuff to do. It's a Friday. Fridays are normally laid back anyway. So yeah, so I work from home today. I mean, tomorrow. Go back to work on Thursday, and then that is it. So Thursday will be my Friday, and I'm so excited about it. And then, like I said, Kayla and I are going to go to the Nutcracker. So I did not mean to bend y'all's ear like that, but I do sometimes need to just get it off my chest. It's a lot. And I, I recognize that it can be a lot, and then I push on. I'm moving on. Go on to the next day and get through it. So, yeah, that is it, guys. That is my Tuesday rant with my outfit today. And now let's get on to hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I can just say she's always giggling when she starts off. It's because when I say hey like that, it's because I've had a day. And it's like I want to tell you guys about it, but it's just, you know, it's the same thing. I work from home and it is... 530 and I'm just logging off and I work from home so and I've been on since 7 a.m. I took a one hour lunch break and y'all it's just a thing um, Earl went in he hasn't made it home just yet he should be making it home pretty soon and he's gonna be bringing in dinner I kind of look forward to these Wednesdays one because I get to work from home um, Tuesday nights are really nice for me because then I can kind of relax and not worry about going to bed like right away even though I did and but I can get a good night's rest wake up in the morning kind of stretch a little bit in bed and then get up at a decent time to, to get on so that happened and of course like I said he um, makes sure we have he brings in dinner so it's kind of awesome it really is it's a it's an awesome thing to look forward to this particular Wednesday and then I think about in two weeks 
Thanksgiving. Like, I'll be in the kitchen cooking and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's really crazy. But I still wanted to come on and show you guys what I am wearing on hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. It's hump day. And that is another reason to be glad about Wednesday. But I am wearing just a casual leisure. I would like to say this is something that you would wear, you know, like around the house. I mean, I've also worn this to work, though, with a pair of sneakers, very relaxed. But um, I got this outfit from the, nut, from the Nutcracker Market maybe two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago because I remember we had just moved into the house and I was like, ooh, I could wear this, you know, when I move into the house or whatever. So I think this was two years ago. And um, very nice, relaxed look. Um, and so I just decided this was some good loungewear to have, um, to put on around the house and it was very relaxing and all the things. So yeah, and that is it for my outfit because your girl don't have on any makeup. <laughs> I put some lip gloss on earlier for a call, but honey, this is it. This has been me all day with, um, the earrings and that's it. Like this is me Oh, natural like natural from the hair to the face to you know like this is oh natural now I want to tell you guys really fast about the product that I've been putting in my hair to make it curl up like I absolutely love the curls what I don't like is the that white st like if someone if y'all know of a product where it gives me this type of curl but it doesn't give you look I'm, I'm about to show y'all y'all kind of pay attention let's see do y'all see the fallout? Do you see? It's I'm barely hitting. Do y'all can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see it. But it's like flaking so bad. And when I wear something dark like this, like I can feel it all over me. And I love the curl pattern it gives me, but ugh, I don't know. It's making me want to go back to my Aunt Jackie. And um, either the black gel or the extreme gel. I don't get that kind of fallout. But this, the product is so good. And it's like, you know, I don't want to have to wash my hair or co-wash my hair every other day. But I don't know. It might be something to do. But do you do y'all see it? Okay, what did I just do? How did the light go out? Yeah, how did the light go out? I stepped on something. Yep, I see it right here. I disconnected it with my foot. Here we go. <laughs> that was weird, right? I guess the product said, don't be talking about me. But look, can y'all see? Look. I hope y'all can see that. I'm too busy seeing it in person. And I don't notice on the camera if you guys can see the flaking of, of it all. Like, it's just floating out of my hair. And I'm like barely. And then it lands on. See, like, I think it's on. Is it on my face? Yeah, you can see it on my nose. I know y'all like, good lord, girl, we get it. <laughs> so, help a sister out. And I'm willing to pay a nice penny um, for the product. I just want the product to work really well. I mean, it gives you a good curl pattern. But that fallout, I can do without. Like, it's like snowing. I know it's the holidays, but I don't need it snowing on my face. All right? <laughs> so, y'all, let your girl know what natural hair product should I be using Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, please tell me. Because I know sometimes I ask a lot of questions, but I really, truly want to know the answer to this. If you have any friends that are natural and see, look at that. Like it kind of cakes up a little bit. Who wants, you know, and I just did my hair Sunday, y'all. And I haven't put any, ouch, extra, <laughs> I know I'm like doing too much on camera. And I haven't put any extra product, ouch, on my hair. It's the same product from Sunday, but, and I haven't even sprayed water in it or anything. I just basically fluff it out and go on about my business. But then by the time, you know, when I wear black, oh, I need to stop because I'm going to tear my hair out. But look at that. That's it. Look. I don't mean to talk about the product, but Lord, I want to give you an honest opinion on what's going on. And this ain't it. This is not it. So anyway, let me get that out. Ugh. Yeah, like, look at that. Do y'all see that? Right down my finger. That's terrible. 
that was hanging in my hair. And, you know, people, I don't know, I'm very self-conscious because people will look at my hair and be like, ew, she dirty. And, I, and no, she ain't. <laughs> no, she is not. She ain't dirty. But, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I might have to get my, do my hair again. Because I don't like this. This I don't like. I see that? Look at that. At the end. So, yeah. That, that is not a good look. That's not a good look for you, girl. That is just not a good look at all. You know, people behind my head and stuff. And I'm thinking I'm looking good. I'm all with my... But yeah, maybe I do need to, ugh, do y'all see all of that? Maybe I need to, maybe I do need to wet it and then see what it looks like. So we're going gonna, gonna to try it in the morning. But the thing is, I don't like to wet it because then it takes away some of that curl pattern. And then you end up with a lot of frizziness. So it's a give or, give and take type of thing. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to work it out. And I did put oil in it um, while I was doing it. Like I did, like um, I combed it out and I put... Um, so it was the liquid was the water and then I put oil in it and then I put this that cream in it, which is the lock method. So it has moisture and then sometimes I add additional moisture in my hair. Um, maybe that's what I need to do is instead of, you know, like putting more oil on my hair and then fluffing it out. We'll try it. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it for the, the hair chronicles. Um, yeah, that's it. So tell me what you guys think. Give me your opinion. Give me some recommendations. I am here for it. And I will talk to you guys manana. Bye. Well, hey, y'all. It is me. Once again, it is Thursday. And I would love to say that my Thursday is complete, but it's not quite complete. I'm having to log back on. Earl and I got home a little bit early because of the weather. Um, it's supposed to be like a lot of rain. So we wanted to get here. Mm -hmm. I think we owe maybe the job another hour or so, maybe from on my half, I think I owe at least enough, yeah, an hour. So I'm actually logging in right now, but while I'm logging in, I thought I'd show you guys what I am donning today. Um, let's see. No, I was going to say the entire outfit is thrifted. Well, the shirt and the jeans are, and they actually came from the exact same thrift store from a Goodwill. Um, this is a Chico's top. I can't remember the pants. I can't remember, but I really like, I don't know, it's something about having the dark denim, being able to wear dark denim to work so it doesn't look so bad, like it's, you know, blue jeans, and it's more of a dressy look. I was going to wear those heels that I had yesterday in my, was it yesterday that I had them in my hand? I think it was. No, not yesterday, it was Tuesday when I had them in my hand. I was going to wear those, but I wanted to be really, really super comfortable, so I just decided to wear some low boots. And I can do that because the pant hem was so, like a, a wide leg or a boot cut. So yeah, this is it. Um, kind of, <laughs> to me, it's like an ode to the 70s or something with the bell bottoms and the print and the shirt. Then I got the fro in my hat, child. Yeah, it's all 70s look to me. But um, yeah. I got some compliments on the blouse too. So yeah, this is it. Y'all, I think I figured out the hair. It's still flaking a little bit, but not as much. And it's because I did put a lot more oil on my hair when I actually picked it out this morning. So and then over here on the side, I just put a little bit more extra uh, product in it. But yeah, it's not as bad. So that's what I have to say that maybe just a little bit more oil when I put it in my hair and I didn't have so, so much fallout or anything like that so <sighs> problem solved so tomorrow I am off I do not have to go into that job tomorrow thank you Jesus I get a day of rest and I'm really looking forward to just really doing just that relaxing and um but then on Saturday nutcracker so that is it guys I shall talk to you later